Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to add a background image to an individual blog post in your Squarespace website. Now there are two different codes listed below, so let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site on a blog post and I have the steps outlined right here. Starting with the very first one, we need to upload the background image to our custom files so it's hosted here on Squarespace with the rest of our site. So I'm going to hop into design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. But at the very bottom here, instead of typing in some code, we're going to click on this button that says manage custom files. Clicking on that button, this is where I can upload an image. You can either click this arrow right here and have it open up the file explorer on your computer, or just drag and drop the image right there, and Squarespace will upload it to the server so it'll be hosted there on your site. Awesome. All right, the next step is taking this first code, which is listed in the description below. I'm just going to press Control C on my keyboard and paste it right here. And where it says image URL here, we're going to remove that text, click Manage Custom Files, and click on our image. And there we go. Now the image has been uploaded as the background image for our blog post. I've set the code to background size cover so it will cover the entire blog post no matter how big it is. But you'll notice it's kind of hard to read the post now, so I've added one more code for us. I'm pressing Control C on my keyboard again, and I'm going to paste this in a new line here. And this has given the inner wrapper of the blog post itself a little bit of a solid background color here. Now I went ahead and just with a, a slightly transparent white color using this RGBA color code. If you want it to be almost solid white, you could say 0.95, that'd be 95% or 0.2 if you want it to be mostly transparent. Change that value to whatever you see fit and honestly adjust any part of this RGBA code. Maybe just a solid white background isn't on brand. Feel free to change this color code to what suits your style. I also added just a little bit of padding because I didn't want it to be right up against the edge. You can remove that line or adjust that value however you see fit. Now what we've done here, once we select save, this will be applied to every single blog post on the site. But if you have more than one blog, you need to install it on the blog settings menu for that individual blog. We can also do it on a single post as well. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to go ahead and take this whole code and press Control X on my keyboard and we'll select save. You'll notice it's gone now. Let's go all the way back to our main menu and select pages. And then here inside our blog, I'm going to click this gear icon and down here where it says advanced, I can select post blog item code injection. That's code injection for the individual post. Now right here, you can have multiple types of code. So before we add it, we have to tell the browser, this is a style code. So I'm gonna add a left caret, type the word style and close it with a right caret. Squarespace will automatically close that bracket for me. Right in between there, I'll just press control V on my keyboard and now the individual blog post will get this code. I'll select save and Squarespace will reload the page and there we go, back to normal here. Now this will just be affecting this individual blog post right here, no other blogs on my site. Any post within this blog is going to get this effect. You can also install this using a code block. Let's say you have one image for just one blog post, just hop into edit mode on that individual post, select the plus sign to add a block of content. We'll add a block of code, and again, because you can have multiple types of code here, you're gonna wanna add the style brackets and then paste the code there, okay? So exact same code, just adding those brackets for style. We've already added this on the code injection, so go ahead and close it. But if you're using a personal subscription plan or you only wanna change one post at a time, just add it as a code block, okay? So that's clicking the plus sign, typing in code, there we go. And then here, just add the style bracket and paste the entire code that we used in the other part of our website, okay? Awesome, I'll go ahead and discard those changes because we don't need them. Go ahead and confirm that, and I'll show you one last time. If you're doing this for just one blog, click this gear icon, hop into advanced, and select post blog item code injection. Paste it here with these style brackets. But if you're installing this site wide, go ahead and navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. You can paste the whole code right here, and you'll be good to go. 
Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, those two codes are listed in the description below. And one last reminder, if you install this site-wide under Design, Custom CSS, the background image will be applied to every single blog post in any blog on your website. If you want to install it on one individual blog, hop into the advanced settings for that specific blog. And if you only want to install it on one individual post, you can add a code block to that post, pasting it in there between those style brackets that we talked about. Alrighty, the codes are below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.